Hi, my lovely people. Section 107 Fair Use allows us to talk about it, and that's what we are here to do. Please don't go out of your way to dislike anybody we talk about in these videos. It is for entertainment and reaction purposes only. It is my opinion and my opinion only. Ooh, we when I say the tongue is a powerful weapon, the tongue is a powerful weapon. Now, before we get into this, everybody watching, we went live and we talked about all the things that were going on with Peach, but we really didn't get to touch on this topic. So if you didn't catch the live from this morning, go ahead and catch it. We had a good time, a lots of laughs. Now, let's talk about this, right? I seen that we were going to get into this, but I ended up getting off live. So let's talk about it now. Um, Yesterday, there was a short that Peach did that was kind of disturbing. I mean, we already knew that the dancing that she was doing was very disturbing, getting down on the ground and letting it all hang out. If that wasn't disturbing enough, yesterday she was kind of on what I'm going to call a binge, right? You know, she says that she is a gambling addict, so we'll call it a binge. She was on a gambling binge. She was on a money binge. She was on a, I need to make $10,000 in one night is what she was saying. Yesterday was her daughter's birthday, but she spent the whole time bouncing between live and live and live here, live on TikTok, live on Instagram, live on Facebook, live on this, live on that, probably totaling over seven to eight hours live, trying to sell a boot camp class because she said that she needed to make $10,000 in one day. She was selling a boob camp class, and every time she came in, I got 30 seats left, I got 10 seats left, I got 15 seats. I mean, it was just a mess. You guys don't show me enough love. You guys don't show me enough care. Uh, uh. It was like she was having a manic breakdown, but then this short that she posted saying F the homeless. So let me tell you guys, right? She's like standing there and she's doing some kind of movement. And at the bottom of the screen is saying that she needs to make $10,000 in one day, right? And she wants to do it uh, being a content creator, selling her boot camp classes, whatever it is, you know, the crap that she says. But she uses a voiceover with a woman stating a fact that there are millions of homeless people and the average age of a homeless person is nine years old. And it then goes to say, I don't care about homeless people. F these homeless people. I don't care. I don't care. I'm worried about me. You know, and it really got the YouTube streets, the Instagram streets, the TikTok streets. I mean, if you guys go look at the comments, uh, they are eating her up. Number one, People are telling her, if you're out here and you're hustling money and you're begging for money and you're panhandling on the YouTube streets, on Instagram, TikTok, and everything else to make your ends meet, how can you really judge anyone else? Just like Peach said, she's made millions of dollars on this app. At one point, she was getting two, 300,000 views when she dropped a video. At one point when she was selling classes, she would have to hold two or three because they would get full. Her bundles were popping. Her website was popping. So just like you're telling anybody that you don't care about anybody being homeless and F them, the tables will turn, right? The tables have turned. You went from sugar to shimp in a matter of no time. You went from sugar going to uh, Louis Vuitton buying bags for you and your husband. You was on top when you was out here and you was at Coach buying you shoes. You was on top when you was uh, paying $50,000 for your husband to drive a brand new truck. You was on top when you went and bought that Xfinity. But how the tables turned and you crashed, right? Them cars that you bought for cash at Infinity, you had to sell because you spent all your money at the casino. The shoes, the bags, the clothes, the purses, even Woods Jewelry. They're all gone. They've disappeared. They're no longer in session, honey. They have been hawked, pawned, sold, done whatever you can do to get by. You can't stay out of the casino because you have what they call a demon on your back, a monkey on your back, something that you continue to do because that's what you want to do. And as long as these subscribers of yours continue to send you cash apps and money, they aren't supporting you, honey. You may feel that way while you're in the midst of your so-called addiction, but really what they're doing is hindering you and they're being your enabler. The more that they send you cash apps and the more that they give you money, 
money to go in that casino. That means the less time you spend with your children, the less time you focus on you, the more manic breakdowns that you have, the more money that you lose, the time and memories that you lose with your children. To me, anybody, if it's a supporter or whatever, if they was to send her $20 to go gamble with, they're really telling you they don't give a F about you. So instead of saying F homeless people, they really saying F you. Because if anybody truly cared about you, they wouldn't send you a nickel or a dime. They leave you broke. Broke enough to where you can't go into the casino and ruin your life, your time, and your money. Baby, when I tell you the way that you talk about people and then you say, oh, I don't believe in karma. Well, if it's not karma, then I don't know what it may be. It just may be, like I said, how the tables turn. The tongue is a powerful weapon. And when you speak things like that, when you tell people you don't care about those that are less fortunate, when you cuss people out in your chat that are sick and ill, when you go off on people who come in and ask you for $2 or $10 saying that they just need gas money and you go off on them, then guess what? happens it comes back to you tenfold whatever way you want to call it now i'm gonna tell y'all i do not agree with okay this short i don't think it's funny i don't think it's a joke i don't think that anything about it is funny we are in times to where groceries are expensive gas is expensive and everybody is truly trying to leave and for all the people that can be strong and hold on and make it and survive and have a roof over their head, there are millions of them that can't make it and can't keep a roof over their head, that struggle with disabilities, mental you know, health, and things of that nature. And the more and more I look at you, Peach, you're losing it day by day. You're losing it hour by hour. You're actually losing it minute by minute. And when this all runs out, you'll be left with what? Your bad words, your no friends, your husband, your seven kids, and be looking around. But I guess a person like Peach who says, well, it doesn't matter. If I lose it all, the next day I'm going to go get food stamps, housing, WIC, and Medicaid. If that's the way you think, it don't work like that for everybody. One thing that Peach has that a lot of people don't have is a whole team full of kids. So that's why the government isn't going to let her shrink, let her fold, let her bend. But the people out here with the one and two children that are working and trying hard, like myself, hold on, be strong. Don't let a woman like this get you down. When I tell you when the tables turn, we'll be up and she'll be down. We're going to see it as it goes. I can't wait to see what you guys got to say about this in the comment because I done said a mouthful and I don't want to be out here preaching. But I will see you guys down below.